Welcome aboard. It's Captain G with New Blood 8.4 Japan. The Emperor is pleased with the reports from his envoys attending the Berlin Peace Conference. The international condemnation of colonial powers, such as British Commonwealth and the Dutch, is a welcome change after centuries of European exploitation. The ceasefire with the KMT is also a welcome sign of future Asian unity and co-prosperity once the colonizers and communists have been driven out of China, India, Australia, and the East Indies. Finally, Emperor Puyi has moved from his palace in Manchukuo to Nanking. The Japanese governor general of China reports the Chinese people have cheered the return of their emperor and have welcomed the order provided by his Japanese ally. In fact, the traditional Japanese sport of yak-yu, also known as baseball, has become a new craze sweeping the nation as Japanese peacekeeping forces set up leagues throughout China. Meanwhile, the Chinese people in Hong Kong cry out for help as lawlessness and disorder sweep the colony abandoned by their colonial oppressors. Technology. Japan has three tech roles. We're rolling advanced artillery at a seven, which is the red dice, improved construction at an eight, the white dice, and long range air at an eight or more, the black dice. Minister Eggman. Ooh, two twelves. All right. So that means improved construction is complete for Japan and long range aircraft moves to stage three. Advanced artillery is still in the works. Can we upgrade the ship we're sending to Italy now that it costs now we have two more dollars. Uh, it'll be a one dollar less. So we'll save a dollar. We're saving two. One. Oh, oh, ships. we are building two ships. Correct. So, um, we hadn't expected to get that one. So, uh, production. We get two oil from the U.S. We get six from our Chinese bonus, and we have 32 income. That gave us 40. We're now going to spend, apparently, 38 of that, saving the two oil dollars. Oh, you want to do that instead? Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Right? We're, we're shifting. We're going to change. We're going to upgrade the Italians. We're going to pay the $2 cash back bonus that we just got by making everything cheaper. And we're going to build a light cruiser. So let me go through that again. Strategic bomber at 12. Two Marines at four each for eight. A Japanese destroyer for now six. A, an Italian light cruiser for now eight and one medium armor because of our investment in the technology of Rihi and the industrial capacity. They're now able to move up from artillery to tanks, which shows the pride of the Manchukuo industry. And this is to represent Pu Yi moving his palace to Nanking. So we're just doing a ceremonial change in the icon. All right, combat. There is none at this time, but Tokyo repeats its warnings to London, Amsterdam, and Canberra to withdraw their forces from Asia Pacific. Non-combat. All right. So we are going to move from P-32, this entire task force, which includes, let me get this out of the way for now. do this all at once it's a little bit easier so the destroyers and the transport are picking up these three marines from hope now that we have our truce agreement with our friends the chinese two destroyers are going to move to p15 to pick up the two marines in kyushu 
And then for those two destroyers alone, that's one, two, three, and then the port bonus, four. They're going to move to P-17 in the Marshall Islands. The rest of the task force will move one, two, three, which will, uh, again, the same port boosting the transport and the battleships, allowing them to move three. So this entire task force now, including the Marines, moves to the Marshall Islands. Oh, um, one other thing, I'm sorry. When I did my builds, did I mention the major port upgrade? I'm not sure. Okay, but it's on camera, um, just so that we know it's surprised when we place it. Okay, so that is this task force in its entirety. Uh, one, two, three, yes, okay. And um, P-14, the amphibious task force, no longer needed, so we're gonna break that up. P-14, we had one transport, which is gonna move one, two, to Tokyo Bay in P-16, with its Siam Escort Torpedo Boat Destroyer. One destroyer is gonna pick up the Marine in Hopei, and go one, two, three, four, and join this task force with another Marine. The light cruiser and the two torpedo boat destroyers are moving down one sea zone to sea zone 32. Well, they will join this task force, which is moving from sea zone P 41 to P-32, uh, except for two heavy cruisers, which are continuing their movement. One, two, three, four, taking advantage of the major port in Kuao Chung to join this new Southwest Japanese task force for maneuvers in the Caroline Islands. Also, in non-combat, to participate in these maneuvers, the two fleet submarines at P-64 will move one, two, to join that fleet. And to position themselves for opposition training, uh, the two uh, coastal submarines will move down one to be blue force to compete against the Japanese red force and maneuver forces. So the two coastal subs are moving to P-37. Um, the three infantry in Siam are moving up to Anatonkin, leaving just the militia in Siam. We have the first area army in Beiping, which is comprised of Three artillery, I can get rid of this now, right? That's combined with those guys. Okay. Three artillery, three infantry, and a motorized rifle unit. Um, the, mo the one infantry is moving into Hopei. So one infantry to Hopei. All the rest of the units are combining with the 6th Area Army, which is this task force. So we're combining them together for future anti-communist operations in support of the freedom-loving people of China. Additionally, the cavalry in Rihi will move over one. So let me get rid of those task forces, no longer needed. And let's see. Lastly, this fleet sub in P-61 We'll move to P-62 in the Dutch East Indies. The, I can't read what the name of that seat is. 60. Okay. Uh, not, not lastly. So moved here. The infantry in Nanking will move into Shantung. And the infantry in Shantung will move into Hopei. The two air in the Korean air base will move one, 
two, three, and land at the Taiwan Air Base. Okay. I think we should move these two subs back. You don't want to move those back? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're going to undo the coastal sub move. That was just a training exercise. They're back now. <laughs> all right. So I believe that completes all of the movements. Let me do a recap of forces. In Suyan, the 6th Area Army consists of two mountain, four artillery, two cavalry, one motorized infantry, six regular infantry, and that is in Suyan. Beiping is empty. In Hopei, we have three infantry. In Shantung, we have one infantry. In Hunan, we have one infantry. In Quichao, we have one mountain, one infantry, one marine. On Taiwan, we have two marines, two fighters, two tactical bombers. In C-Zone P-32, that task force has one heavy cruiser, one light cruiser, two torpedo boat destroyers, and three naval transports. And then in C-Zone P-47, we have two coastal subs, two fleet subs, one fleet carrier with a fighter and a tactical bomber, one light carrier with a fighter, two battleships, one battle cruiser, three heavy cruisers, <clears throat> one light cruiser, four destroyers, one transport, and dropped off onto the island is one, two, three, four, five, six, six Marines. One, two, three, four on the destroyers and two on the transport. So that's correct. That completes the non-combat. Place units. In Tokyo Bay, we place the one destroyer. We place two Marines in Tokyo. All right. The strategic bomber we place in Kyushu. The port upgrade we place in the Marshall Islands, Sea Zone P-47. And as we said, the medium armor goes into Rihi at the Manchukuo Production Factory. Very proud of the industrious uh, workers there. So we saved- The Italian. The Italian. Oh yeah. The Italian cruiser will go around past let me pull this around. You got this egg, just keep it on the board. Past the oppressed people of India, through the oppressed people of Egypt, and into C zone. What is C zone? Is that? There it is. M3. And since it's all one C zone, we're just going to go ahead and put it into the same port as the Italian fleet. Okay. So that, um, let me do the collection of income then. We have the 40, so we'll have 42 income next time uh, since we got the improved construction. That completes this turn. Next up is Lancer Bolt with the United Kingdom and the Free French. This has been Captain G and Eggman, over and out.